Hi, this is Juan Mejia with New Blue FX, and today I'm going to show you how to make a snowboard film inspired title. If you haven't seen it already, we made a snowboarding movie trailer for our holiday sale, and it's actually up on our YouTube channel right now if you want to check it out. You can find a link to that video in this video's description. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do to give this video that snowboard film feel is find an icon of a mountain. I'll use this one I found on Icon Finder, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below as well. After downloading, I'm going to import it to Titler Pro 5 by going to File, Import, Image. The image may be a little hard to see if you're working on a black background, but you can change the background by going to View, Background, and selecting a color. For the time being, I'm going with gray. Once my icon is imported, I'll scale it down and position it to where I want it to be. And since my title is going to be white, I need to find a way to make this icon white. To do that, I'm going to head over to the library, find the effect video tune-up, and apply it to my icon. And I want to start from scratch, so I'm choosing the reset to none preset. The trick here is just to increase the brightness to 100, and that'll make my icon go from black to white. After it's done, I'm going to change my background back to black, so I can have a nice contrast while I'm working. Next up, I'm going to add some text for my title by clicking on the add text button on the top right corner. I'll change the text to say the and select free universal from the font drop down menu. I like this font, but I actually want to make it a little bit thinner, so I'm going to go ahead and set its width to negative 100 and stretch it down a bit. Once I'm happy with the result, I'll duplicate the paragraph by clicking on it, holding control and dragging. Now let's change that text to say last. I'll take this time to tweak my title a bit. I'm going to use the rulers to get a nice layout going for my title. After that's done, it's time for the last piece of text. This time I want something thicker to balance out the title, so I'm going with a Fiatla 1 font. Now I'll type in resort and manipulate the text a little bit to make it a bit longer. Again, I'm going to enable the rulers to make sure everything fits together nicely. Now it's time to animate the title. First off is the mountain. I'm looking for an elegant turn, so I'm going to head over to the turn transition and select the blinds preset. Next up is the text. I'll use the new slide out transition available in Titler Pro 5. By navigating to Transitions, Kinetic Motion Pack, Slide Out, and applying the Arrive Left preset. I'll also disable the scaling for this effect. From here, I'll copy this transition and apply it to the next paragraph so that my two paragraphs, the and last, have this effect on them. Now I'll apply the same slide out transition to the Resort paragraph, but this time I'll use the Arrive Above preset. I need something to make the title pop from the background, so I'll choose the drop shadow effect and apply the slightly erased preset to all my paragraphs. I chose to do this because the effects of the drop shadow are more noticeable on light backgrounds. Lastly, it's time to start arranging my paragraphs in the timeline so that my animation plays the way I want to. Once that's done, I'll apply the finishing touches. And there you have it. A clean title with a little bit of animation and drop shadow that's perfect for any snow sports film you're working on. For more resources and tutorials, visit newbluefx.com tutorials. I'm Juan Mejia and thanks for watching.